Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a DIY spring wreath. So let's jump right into it. So you're gonna get a grape vine wreath. This is the best one to use because you don't have to worry about using glue. And that's the whole purpose of this DIY, guys, is to do something simple and easy that will last. And it allows you to switch it out without ruining your wreath. So you wanna get yourself some wire cutters or a nice heavy duty pair of scissors. I have like they're almost kind of like a pruning type scissors and I went to Joann Fabrics to get all of my items so the wreath and all of my greenery came from there. Um, I used coupons and the spring shop stuff I think was 40, 40 or 50 percent off. So make sure you guys shop around for the best deals so that way your project could be as less expensive as it can be. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna go around to each main stem of your greenery and cut off. Um, once we get start putting stuff in, you will actually start cutting into each one of those branches. Alright guys, now we're going to move on to the smaller greenery. Um, these are just like, I think little, little tiny white flowers. I don't know what kind of flower or plant it's supposed to be, but I wanted green with white in my uh, wreath. So with this, you guys, you're actually going to slide up some of the white flowers to the top and it kind of makes like a bunch. So here I am doing it. You can see me push it up and then I'm going to cut underneath. So one long branch now becomes one thicker little bunch. Now it is time to start adding your foliage to your wreath. So I'm just, as you guys can see, I'm just like stick them in, in there. And this time, I this one was like a big one, so I actually brought it up over one of the vines that's wrapped around the wreath to secure the wreath. And you're just gonna go around and place them throughout the wreath. I usually try to do, like I equally space them, and then I'll go back through and fill it in with more greenery. And then once we get that to how we like it, then we'll add the little white flowers.
Okay, so now that you have all your greenery in there, um, it's now time to move on to the white flowers. Don't worry if you see gaps. You can always fill that in with the other flowers or greenery or whatever it is that you're going to add to your wreath. So now we're going to go through and we're going to kind of like start filling all that in. At first I started with long pieces and I'm going around because I kind of want to give it where it kind of sticks out, almost like an extra 3D type of thing. And then I'm going to go back through with smaller pieces and fill in in between those bigger pieces. And just remember guys, there is no right or wrong way to, of, of making a wreath like this. It's up to your creative design, imagination, whatever. If you want to do a thinner wreath, if you want to make a packet full of stuff, do what your heart pleases and have a great time doing it, you guys. And there you have it, an easy DIY spring, early spring wreath. You can add a bow, you could add Easter eggs, whatever you wanted. But once again, you guys, thanks for stopping by. Please make sure you're liking and subscribing because it helps my channel. And y'all have a blessed day.